Hey team, Macho Models here with an August update. So I wanted to take some time out and talk about primers. Um, this has been an absolute bane of my existence uh, ever since I started this hobby and trying to kind of figure out the best process and way to go about this has been quite the journey. Um, I've got the uh, the God Gundam hanging out back here on the sprues and uh, while it's drying I just wanted to run through this real quick and kind of talk to you about where I started and uh, where I came to and eventually where I'm going. So to start with, um, I wasn't really big on the primers initially. I actually, uh, there's a, a an account that I follow, um, this guy named Andy out in Arizona. It's called, um, I can't remember, but I'll link back to it. But needless to say, he's a big advocate of just going directly on plastic. So for a lot of my builds, I would just take this Tamiya and spray it directly on the plastic. We'll come to find out when I started to remove seam lines and do some additional work, a lot of the times those flaws started to get showed and amplified. And that's where I realized, okay, I probably need to have a primer, especially if I'm going to do some extensive work like cleaning up seam lines or doing any kind of sanding. So the first place I stopped was acrylics. Uh, I, I use alcohol-based acrylic paints, like Tamiya primarily, and I like acrylics for its cleanup and simplicity. So I started with Vallejo. I read some initial stuff on this and most of the reviews were pretty good, but there is a pretty divisive crowd in terms of people that were saying it clogs up your airbrush and it can stick to the inside of your cup. And come to find out that's the absolute truth. Um, this stuff is very troublesome. I have not had a lot of good luck with it. Um, I'm probably gonna hang on to this bottle just for a little while until maybe I hit a roadblock or maybe I encounter a plastic that absolutely requires acrylic, but I don't think I'm gonna get there. And what I was doing before was I had this and I was thinning it about one to one with a, to me, acrylic thinner. And I just recently bought this airbrush flow improver a couple months ago to, um, to try to fix this. And I, I did some tests on it and it still was no good. It, um, I, as soon as I start spraying this stuff, no matter what the thinning ratio is, it immediately starts drying and clogging my airbrush. And then the other kick in the butt is that your cup just gets uh, covered in this. And especially after it has a pretty quick chance to dry, peeling it off is, is really cumbersome and onerous. So my next stop was, I recently got into splash paints and I've tagged them in a bunch of my posts and I'm looking forward to showing you guys some, some gloss stuff in the future with it. But um, this is a lacquer based primer and they're based out of Portland, which is awesome because there's other companies like 2K and as I'm gonna get to eventually Mr. Finishing and they're overseas and it's really hard to find. So I actually sprayed the God Gundam with this splash primer and um, the initial review was not so good. So they give you this little tiny bottle and it's called Primer Activator. And um, what they advertise is actually a four to one mixing ratio on it. And I did four to one and it was not the case at all. I ended up probably mixing closer to one to one with it. And as you can see, you know, this is a 60 milliliter bottle and this one isn't listed, but it's not much. So this came with an actually a white one that's in the background and I just crushed it with probably only using this much of the primer. Um, needless to say, when I put a lot of the activator inside of it, it worked pretty well. Um, the only downside, and this is the first time that I've worked with a lacquer primer, I had it open in a plastic cup and it actually melted the plastic cup. So I went to my Tamiya glass jars and it seemed to work okay. The, the pickle was, is that this stuff dries really, really quickly. And as I mentioned, I only had this to be able to thin and um, I was kind of struggling to get through the whole build. And then on top of that, I have a new airbrush that I'll show in another video that's pretty cool, but I ended up clogging it and it was just a whole mess. And um, after dealing with this sometime this weekend, I finally bit the bullet and went into Mr. Finisher with the Mr. Uh, Color Leveling Thinner. And I think this is where my process is gonna go. So I'm always trying to lean things out. And as you saw earlier, I have this X20 and I've got a bunch of other products. Reading my Mr. Uh, Color Leveling Thinner seems like it's really the kind of end all be all of all kinds of thinners. So it's a lacquer based thinner with a, with a leveler, but it's perfectly safe to use on lacquer paints and on acrylic paints. And a lot of people really swear by the effect that this has on acrylic paints. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna largely transition to this for all of my thinning and leveling and kind of flow improvement stuff. 
So that being said, I'm still gonna use the splash paints and then come to find out this, this activator is just really just a lacquer based thinner but I'm also gonna give the uh, Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500 a shot. A lot of modelers that I follow online, like Dukes and uh, John Boos, they all swear by this stuff. And just kind of at an initial glance, I mean, you can see the flammable note here. It is a lacquer-based primer. It looks pretty good. It's pretty viscous, but I'm thinking I can probably mix this one-to-one -one or two-to-one and reliably run it through my airbrush. And it's always, kind of a nice safety blanket when you're using like products. So, you know, these are both Mr. Hobby products. So I'm guessing there's gonna be a pretty good amount of compatibility. I'm also thinking too, I think I mentioned this just a moment ago that this will also work pretty well with the splash paints. And especially I have some um, of their lacquer colors that I'd like to use later on. So I'm looking to transition um, to more and more lacquer based stuff. But however, I still wanna to try to maximize my use of um, alcohol based acrylic as much as possible. Um, just for their simple flexibility, but when it comes to gloss coats, certainly I think lacquer is going to be the better choice. Um, so needless to say, the kind of long short, the takeaway, um, if you start getting into primers, especially if you're doing custom work and you're joining any seams or doing any sanding, you want to put a coat of primer over it. It's definitely going to hide a lot of the discrepancies from your sanding, and it seems like Mr. Surfacer 1500 is the way to go, thin down for running through your airbrush reliably. Um, I also have a bottle of the white coming. Um, a lot of modelers just usually use the 1500 gray. Um, even Duke's models, who does a lot of aircraft, he actually uses the black. Um, but I do a lot of Gundam stuff, and I want to use white on the Gundam parts so that I can help. Since a lot of them are white, I don't want to have to try to fight it and put a ton of white paint over top of it. Um, so I'm going to probably mix this up between the white and the gray, and I'll probably also pick up a, a black color as well. And uh, I'm gonna transition to Mr. Collar Leveling Thinner for thinning this out and also for thinning out, thinning out my acrylic paints. Um, I'm gonna jump to this again when I go into my airbrush video, but just something else that was like a really big breakthrough and revelation for me was thinning the heck out of your paints. So I mentioned Duke's models and just another quick point that I wanna make before I dive into this, always check out other modelers. I mean, between aircraft and cars, uh, there's a lot of different techniques out there, and even though you may be a Gundam or sci-fi modeler, there's a ton that you can learn. So the long short was, I used to mix my paints about one to one, and I found they bunched a lot in my airbrush, and I was doing a ton of cleanup. And Duke's Models advertises you can thin all the way down to 10 to one on some, or five to one. So needless to say, tonight when I was doing some painting, I did about a four to one and five to one, and it made an entire world of difference. My airbrush didn't clog once, I had cleanup was super easy, and it was just a really frictionless and great process. The one thing to uh, to look out for when mixing your paints is not to do them within the bottle. So I used to do this all the time where I'd mix it in here because of a shortcut from um, that other gentleman I mentioned earlier, Andy, where he said filling it up to the line is, is a good measurement on how to thin, and I did that. The problem is, and I mentioned this with a little while back, uh, working with a metallic, when you leave the thinner in here, some of these paints go bad. And I can say, uh, looking at the threads on this red and just from some previous builds, it's old. I mean, this paint has to be at least about six months old. So with the Tamiya thinner in here sitting for about six months, it kind of went stale. And then unfortunately it showed on my work a little bit. The good news is um, the Guide Gundam is gonna be really heavily weathered. So I'm not too worried about how the, uh, the red parts that I painted are gonna present because I'm gonna put another two coats on top of it and I think I'm gonna get a nice even finish. Um, but I hope you come back to this. I hope when you start thinking about primers, you go straight to uh, Mr. Finisher with a leveling thinner. I I'm telling you, I tried to game this for a while and just go here and save yourself a bunch of time and this is the way to go. Um, message me if you have some questions about that. And also I'm going to post some of these, some of you guys who follow me on, um, see my stories, you saw that my wife got these for me for my birthday and I'm trying to launch some branding. Um, hopefully that's gonna come in the next two months, but in the near term, I'm gonna have these snapback caps and I'm gonna list them on my page as well with a, with a photo with a little bit of detail. But if you want one, shoot me a message and uh, I'd love to mail you one and I appreciate any support and, uh, and engagement with these videos. That's all I got for you guys, signing off.